Hey everyone, enjoy the show. Hey folks, how you doing today? So recently I was out on a Saturday messing around. I went through an antique mall and I found this. I was really happy to find it. Here at the Mantiques Network, I really buy architectural things that do stuff. I don't deal in any furniture, sofas, dishes, anything like that. But like back bars, saloon doors, barbershop back bars, ticket receptacles, things that would have been used, showcases, you know, cool stuff. So I found this beautiful Tiger Oak ticket receptacle. This would have been used in like movie theaters. It would have been used possibly on Broadway at, uh, when people come into a play. It could have been used on a carnival ride. Yeah, you know, it was sold as a ticket booth for that purpose and whoever wanted it could buy it and use it for their venue. Uh, I got it in, I did a full service in detail. This is clearly Tiger Oak. Uh, this thing has like never been dropped or nothing. It's just super, super straight. Tiger Oak, it has a cast iron top, cast iron bottom. All of this glass in here is quarter inch thick all the way around. Boy, it's got some weight. And I actually had to take this top off and unbolt it and get it all apart because it had a hundred years worth of dust and dirt in there on that glass. I personally cleaned it five times because I like my glass clean because glass is a very beautiful thing when it's clean and shiny. Uh, so the other thing that I did was I put the top sign and light on it. I wanted to take it to the next level. It's always fun to do that. That's what we do. I had Jaime, who is a tattoo artist. I had him hand draw me movie tickets. That's where you would put them in. I went online as well and bought period correct nickel dime movie tickets and then I used a little bit of dough which you'd use for like earthquake proofing and I stuck them on there but it looks really cool with them floating down if this was just sitting in your house without the sign and without the tickets you well what is it well now it's clear exactly what it is it's a ticket receptacle once again tiger quarter sawn oak quarter inch glass now when you, whoever gets this I when I got it I always like to drink beer with my stuff so I'm sitting around at night and I'm drinking beer with it and I'm looking in there and I'm going how are these glasses attached I'm looking up I'm looking down I'm looking sideways and I go they they're not attached there's nothing attaching them they're floating in there like it's a magic trick and I just kept scratching my head scratching my head finally once I took it apart I figure out how those are just sitting in there floating they and as you see on the side here here's some rivets but they they don't go through the glass there it is right they're just sitting here and these are just floating in here like magic i thought that was one of the really super uh cool ways that they designed this ticket receptacle uh, once again i put the top sign on it it has its original badge here i bought vintage movie tickets and as well as here is the stubs right so you can see this is how they work, right? They just pop down in here and go to the bottom. I am going to give you uh, all of these, all the tickets naturally come with it, all the stubs, okay? So it will be full of that. Now, quarter saw oak, original badge. We go to the back of it here. And here is where you open it up. It has a nice vintage correct lock on it with the key. And this is where you open it. And then here, you'll see the tickets in here, and you just drop the tickets. Spring loaded, spring works good, super nice. That's how you drop the tickets into the bottom for the owner of the theater. Nice vintage lock, tiger oak, super nice piece. Put the light on it because in the evening when you have this in your room and the light is shining down on the beautiful glass, it is quite a great architectural piece. I love it, I'd keep it for sure. Uh, super nice, super cool. Self-explanatory now once we did our thing to it. It's all been polished and serviced and detailed. Just a super nice piece. If you've got an antique movie theater or something like that, this would look sure look good in front of it. Anyway, now the other thing about this is it's going to need to be crated. Clearly we're not shipping this with the UPS or they'll bust the crap out of it. We ain't having none of that. <clears throat> so this will go next door, have a beautiful box uh, built for it, and it will be hand delivered to your home. And they'll bring out a lift gate and put it in front of your garage or at your place of business. Beautiful piece. Somebody's going to really enjoy it. You don't come by these very often. 
great piece of architectural and whoever gets is going to enjoy it and hey as always thanks for watching our videos folks how you doing today so uh, we really want to tell you we appreciate you watching our videos we've done about 1600 of them to date and uh, you guys respond very nicely to it and we really appreciate it so if you like them man smash the subscribe button right Boom, hit the subscribe button and click on the reminder button and if you do that you will get reminded there's a little bell there click on that uh, what we'd like you to do is make comments and please make sure you share it with your friends. You guys are taking us to the top of the YouTube channel and if you do those three things, you'll be able to see uh, us real time, especially if you hit the bell to remind you. It'll come up every time on your phone. We try to do a lot of fun stuff for y'all and we appreciate you watching our videos. So let's smash it, let's grab it, let's watch them, let's comment, let's send us comments, share it with your friends. If you do that, you'll take us to the top and we would really appreciate it. These are Mantiques. Antique? Mantique. These guys sell Mantiques. This is their store. We're picking, we're bringing stuff every day, in and out, in and out, in and out. We're, we're, we're shaking and baking. These are their customers. Give me the rundown on the GMC. This lived in a bar in Ghent in Belgium. Follow Jim and Jeff from 9 to 5 or after hours as they buy, sell, and restore the coolest stuff for the coolest collectors worldwide.